following the course of this world, following the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that is now at work in the sons of disobedience, among whom we all once lived in the passions of our flesh, carrying out the desires of the body and the mind, and were by nature children of wrath. Jesus did this so we can sin. Jesus. Wow. <laughs> well, that, that's why no, he was not, not so we, not so we can. St. Paul said, God forbid that. Gone to the Savior, Jesus Christ. The only way to God. The one whom God sent into the world to save that which was lost. And he is coming again to judge the whole world in righteousness. He, the Bible said, is the judge of the living and the dead. So my friends, if you are living today, Jesus Christ will be your judge. If you're dead without Christ, Jesus Christ will still be the, your judge. But well, the Bible said that the wages of sin, the payment of sin is death, but the good news is that the gift of God is everlasting life. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is everlasting life. Understand gift, wage, and gift. When you go and work eight hours, you get wages. You get wages, man. At the end of the payday, pay period, you get a wage. But gift, gift itself, you don't have to merit it. So when you go and practice fornication, and when you go and live in drunkenness or drug, abuse or drug dealing and lying and cheating and and doing all kinds of evil the bible says there's a wage for you and that wage is death but on the other hand there is a gift of god and that gift of god is eternal life and eternal life is open to anyone who believe you can be a former sinner when you become a Christian, when you turn to Jesus Christ, you can be a former sinner and be a saint. The saints of the Lord are those who have who had their sins forgiven and their slates wiped clean. The Bible says witchcraft is a sin. The wages of sin is death. And practicing voodoo and looking at tarot cards like tarot cards reading, all of those things are seen before God. And the Bible says, he that practice such thing will not inherit the kingdom of God. He that practice unrighteousness will not inherit the kingdom of God, the Bible said. But he that repent of this unrighteousness will be saved. So in, so in heaven, my friend, there will, in heaven there will be former liars, there will be former which crap which witches there'll be former fornicators there'll be former weekends there'll be former thieves in heavens because in the heaven of god god does not tolerate evil he does not tolerate unrighteousness he does not have pleasure in all those things but he has pleasure in righteousness jesus christ is the way the truth and the life and you cannot come to God any other way except through Jesus Christ Buddha cannot help you you cannot come to God through Muhammad you cannot come to God through Buddha you cannot come to God through Hare Krishna you cannot come to God through Joseph Smith no other way you cannot come to God through through gurus, Guru Nanak or Guru, any Guru that you come, God does not send such Gurus to save, to, save, to save people. You cannot come to God through such Gurus. You cannot come to God through practicing Wicca and Kundalini and, and, and New Age. You cannot come to God th that way. Those things will lead you deeper into witchcraft. 
New Age spirituality. I got mine, thanks. New Age spirituality is evil before God. That's practicing witchcraft, Wicca, Voodooism, tarot card reading, any of those things can lead you to damnation. Witchcraft, voodoo, tarot cards, psychic, palm readings, those things are called sorcery and witchcraft. But the Bible says, come to God with all your heart and your mind and your whole heart and being. Turn away from these things that kills, from fornication, from transsexuality, which we know transgenderism today is rampant and homosexuality and lesbianism is rampant in our society. And everyone that is practicing such things will not inherit the kingdom of God unless unless God unless they repent of their sins and turn to Jesus Christ that is the only way they can be saved the wages of sin is death but the gift of God is everlasting life through Jesus Christ you have to reject your sin to receive the gift of God my friends if you're practicing homosexual today we ask you to repent and turn to Jesus Christ if you're practicing lesbianism or all transsexual we call you today to repent and turn to Jesus Christ if you're drunkard we call you today to repent and turn to Jesus Christ because that's not how God created you to be God created you in his own image and God is not a drunkard my friend turn from your sin stop deluding yourself you're deluding everybody stop deluding yourself stop deluding yourself ma'am you're deluding yourself stop deluding yourself ma'am turn to Jesus Christ and I you will have life I don't think no no you're a liar you oh, don't talk no, to Jesus I am not a liar. you're a liar you can't oh, talk no, you I can't talk not. to Jesus Christ and believe what you are believing oh, yes, right now I can. you can't turn to Jesus there Christ and say that drunkenness is okay of their own but drunkenness this is drunkenness I don't I'm not talking, talking about you you say that drunkenness is okay that, no, that you're they can do whatever they want saying this shit Oh, you don't know Jesus, ma'am. You're a liar. Yeah, I do. You're a liar. I practice him every day. No, you don't. You you're much. a liar. No, the truth, I'm not. The truth I is not in you. I just saved somebody's life no, yesterday. You're a Thank liar. you very you, much. Sorry, you're a liar. No, I am not. The truth is you not in you. You need to take your shit and get it's, out of here. If you know Jesus, Allow you won't you, you you use any are. language you're using. If you know Jesus, you will trust his word. You will not... He will not be yelling this at... This is not Jesus' word. All of these yeah. things are in the Bible, my friend. Whose Bible? Well, the one that I read, maybe not the one that you Which read. Which one do you read? I read the true Bible. Maybe you, really? maybe you read Satanic Bible, maybe, but I'm not. I don't. I don't need to read a Bible. I get oh, guided every single day. You don't need to read a Bible. No, I no don't. wonder why you're contradicting what I'm saying because you I don't, don't read the Bible. To because I am guided. How are you guided? I am guided by how? His how? Because He leads his, me here. Who is His? Who is His? God. Who is God? The one that Jesus you blaspheme Christ. right now? They lead The me. one that you think that it's okay with drunkenness? That's the one that you Yeah, you, you it worship? is okay. Oh? You prove yourself. You just, you just, you yeah, just. Yeah, it is okay. Because you, you just, know what? I used to drink. A lot. Okay. She said it's okay. People drink till they don't drink anymore. You have no right the to Bible judge say anybody. No, Bible say no drunkard would inherit the kingdom of God. Go read it. You, no, you're not, you are a liar. You're not reading the Where truth. Where do you see a drunk here? Ma'am, you're a liar. You don't know Jesus. Where do you see a drunk here? Do you see one drunk person? Are you convicted? Are you drunk? No. Okay, then, then so that's not for you. Thank you very much. Then that's not for you then. It's not for you. So it's so, not for drunks either. So move along. Move along. It's not no, for you. you move along. Get you out move of here. along. Are you homosexual? No, are you a lesbian? But I know lots of them and there's nothing wrong with them. And I used to live with them. And she knows Jesus. Yeah, so Imagine I do. that. There's nothing wrong you, with people. People like you are the one that make Christ, give Christ a bad name. You, I do. You, no, you say you like believe you in do. Jesus, but you support, you support the devil. You're full of shit. 
You support the devil, but you claim you believe in I Jesus. I don't support the devil. Yes, all of these are, the, are what the no, devil supports. No, they're support. not. They're self The devil supports witchcraft. The devil supports Wicca. The devil supports drunkenness. And that's what you support. So guess oh, really? who? Guess who here is... you know what I support. Yes. What do I support? Because you support all of these things. Yes, I do. I support the people. That's the devil. No, it is not. <laughs> How much work do you do? Ma'am, Do you work with the people or do okay. you just stand here I'm gonna and ignore you. I'm going to ignore repent? you. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the Get life. the hell out The of wages here. of sin is death. Don't miss it. But the gift of God is everlasting life through Don't Jesus Christ. You have to come to Jesus Christ to be saved. Amen. My friend, all sin will lead you to death. But the gift of God will give you life. Yeah, she's a lesbian, so you, you get you can you can agree with them. That's fine. You, you can agree with them. That's fine. You can go again. But I have lots of friends that are. You can go against God. Go ahead. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Just go away. Just go away. Yeah, you being convicted, ma'am. You are being convicted. Jesus Christ can set you free, my friend. The Bible says the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is everlasting life through Jesus Christ. So my friend, no one on this list, no one that practice everything on this list are damned to be where they are. They can change. They can change. That is why Jesus came into the world, so that you can change. You can change from being a drunkard to a sober-minded person. You can tra change from transsexuality to a person that God created you to be. You can be, you can be homo no more if you're homo. You can be homo no more. That's the power of God. That's the power of God. Amen. No one is condemned to be a homosexual till they die. They can change. The power of God can give you to can give you the power to do that. No one is condemned as a drunkard all their life. They can change. There is a hope, my friends, but there's, the devil does not want you to change. He wants you to behave, to be where you are. The devil wants you to, be, to, to think that you're an animal. The devil wants you to act like an animal. He wants you to be, oh, well, we are, since my forefathers are apes, I should behave like apes. That is, that is the, the, that's the problem with, with, the, with this world. Many people have been brainwashed to even believe that their forefathers are apes. Even today, many people are brainwashed that a man can be a woman. That is how brainwashed this society is becoming. Some people believe that a man can get pregnant. Are you kidding me? That's how deluded our, our, our nation has become. And guess who support all of these things? All these politicians that are that are that, that are devil many of them that are devil worshipers jesus christ came into the world so that you can and i can be saved message can be hard because people are, are brainwashed so when when someone who is a, who, when someone who who likes uh, who like to smoke a lot comes across someone who's holding a sign and saying that smoking causes lung cancer he, Guess what? Some of them will, that in their rational mind will say, you know what, maybe I should stop smoking. And some of them that are not in their rational mind will attack you and say, why are you saying that? I don't want you to offend me with the facts. I don't want you to keep confusing me with the facts. I want you to say falsehood. So that's what happened. So today in our news and everything that we watch, they promote these things because they don't want to offend anybody. They want to be politically correct. But the Bible, the God is not a politician. God is not politically correct. In most case, in most case, God is politically incorrect. So when I stand here, I have to be politically incorrect. I don't have to be politically correct. I'm not going to tell you that every one of us is going to heaven. It doesn't matter what religion you follow. I'm not going to tell you that. That's a political thing, a correct thing to say. My friend, the political correct thing is to say everyone is going to heaven. No, that's not true. 
Not everyone is going to heaven. If you follow any other than Jesus Christ, my friends, you are not going to heaven. That is the truth. That is the truth. And the truth is as real. You cannot follow Muhammad, Buddha, and uh, all, all these gurus and then, and then still go into heaven. Because God doesn't recognize those people. It's not the same way you cannot go, you cannot end up in, in, uh, in, Newton, in Newton, uh, Newton Central by taking a wrong bus. You're not going to end up there. If you take the wrong bus, you're going to end up in a wrong, wrong station. Because the one who set up the bus stop and the bus stations are, is, the, is the bus company. And you have to follow their rule to get to your destination, my friend. That the same way you have to follow God's rule to get to God's house. You cannot tell me, I'm gonna, I can take, blindly take any bus and I'll get home. I'll, it take me straight to my home. You are deluding yourself. So you can't... In the same way, you cannot follow any religion and, and expect that that same religion will lead you to God. That's a lie. It doesn't work that way. In the same way that he, you can tell me that, um, that you are a man created in, human, in a woman's body. That's not true. That's a lie. If you do those things, you have a mental illness, you, we can help you. But it does not mean that it's true. So my friends, I want you to turn from your sins. That's what God wants you to do. Don't mind me. Turn to Jesus Christ. Because everything that is under the sun, that is practiced under the sun today, can lead you. That is evil can lead you to eternal damnation. And God knows. God knows the truth. He has, he's the truth. And that is why he sent Jesus Christ as a savior for you. So that you can walk away from living a life of sin, uh, a sin sinfulness, and turn to the life of righteousness. You know what? It doesn't really matter if you walk away from the sin or not, because Jesus has already crucified for all of us for that. You what? He, he was already crucified for all of us for that. So you're going to continue doing it? Well, yeah, because it's not he's, continue doing it, it's that there's no stopping it. No, there is stopping it. That's why Jesus came, so that you can stop sinning. That is the fact. No, that's what, no. That's a Jesus fact. Jesus did this so we can sin. Jesus. Wow. <laughs> well, that, that's why no, he, well, not that we, not Saint Paul we said, can. God forbid that. I don't, not not for we that we can't sin, that. He's God forbid, God for forbid, us. God forbid. He came to save us from our God sins. forbid, as, he, as he, he took took the, guilt the Bible says, if you use Jesus' death as a license to sin, you are deluding yourself. Yeah, so, so in the Bible, and the well, truth I'm is not in you. Out, He'll help us overcome This our man sins. said that Jesus to died so free. that we well, can not, sin uh, and not that, take it away. That's why I'm saying he died he, to save us from our sins. Exactly. Yeah, but that's not so that you can live in your sin. Yeah. It's like saying you're saving someone from drowning to let them drown. You well, them someone out. drowned for us, so we are all going to go drown yeah, no, ourselves. No, 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 but huh. I don't get it, but like... It's not, it doesn't come, make sense. When's he coming back? They say he's coming back to do it again. Huh? They say Jesus is going to come back. He's not coming back to do it again. He's already huh? done it. And the next time he's coming, he's coming he to judge. Did he hell for doing it? No, he's coming to judge. No, did, the next... he, did he spend time in hell for doing what he did? Hell is yeah, he hell is hell, hell is a he great. Into hell yeah, hell yeah, three yeah. days. Hell is hell is a, hell is a That's great. Why he went to hell. hell is a grave. Hell is a grave. Yeah, I know, but yes. I'm trying to understand what Jesus didn't go into hell fire. Hell is a grave. He went into Sheol, the land of dead. He preached yeah, to the Sheol, 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 Sheol is is what hell is. Hell is taken from the Hebrew uh, Greek word Hades, yeah. which is, is the place what, of the dead. Is, is that what Armageddon? Was no. Our Jesus. Is the last times, right? Sorry, I'm interrupting. I shouldn't. Um, it's, it's, it's okay. Is that what I'm getting already happened, or is it gonna no? Happen? I'm getting. It's still gonna. It's still happening. It's gonna happen Sunday. That will be when uh, he returns. Last time. You don't. Right? Nobody knows. That, so that's why I say when brother. Jesus. Sorry if I keep chiming in. It's okay. I mean, you're loving what you're you're, you're, you're excited. Yeah. I understand. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. 
Uh, yes. You guys are awesome. You're preaching the truth. And I appreciate it. Thank you. It gets me pumped up. Thank you. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. All right. Have a good one, you guys. All right. So I'm from sin, my friends. Believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior, and you will be saved. Amen. There is no need to continue in your sinful lust. There's no need to continue in sinning. Repent and turn to Jesus Christ. The Bible said he will forgive you of your sins if you repent.